People are still being exposed and we need to stop that. Tracy Carluccio frustrated with an ongoing problem with the water here in Paulsboro. The people have been exposed, it turns out now we find out, for decades to one of the most highly toxic forever chemicals or PFAS compounds, PFNA. Nobody knew they were drinking water that could harm their health. As the deputy director for the nonprofit organization Delaware Riverkeeper Network, Carluccio has been fighting for years to make sure it's safe for residents to use after PFNA was found in the town's water system and nearby private wells back in 2013. The highly toxic chemical was also found in several other towns in Gloucester County, an area that has reported some of the highest concentrations of PFNA in the world. There have actions that have been taken, but still there needs to be more because many people in New Jersey are drinking the water and not knowing whether or not they have PFAS compounds because not every single water system um, has uh, been sampling long enough. The problem is even bigger. PFNA is just one chemical in the PFAS family, and those substances are turning up in water systems around the Garden State. We know very clearly from the scientific and health studies that have been done, the, the more exposure you have through drinking water and other sources of contamination, the higher levels build up in your blood. And that means you are increasing your risk of developing a disease that's connected to PFAS compounds. So a team from the Rutgers Environmental and Occupational Health Sciences Institute is working to figure out what actually happens to the human body when it's exposed to PFAS. It's part of a nationwide study funded by the CDC. The water now is uh, being purified and uh, is safe to drink. The issue is that, again, prior to 2016, uh, there were these relatively very high levels compared to other communities of this particular chemical, PFNA, and that that chemical stays in the blood for a long period of time. There should be some way to document uh, uh, the, the long-range effects uh, of, of the situation. If we can get out in front of this and learn as much as we can about it, then maybe we can prevent this from happening other places. But even though finding out how the body reacts to these chemicals is important, advocates say cleaning up the source of the pollution in the first place is just as crucial. For years, community members have blamed the chemical company Solve in nearby West Deptford for contaminating the water. Solve stopped using PFNA in its work years ago, but recent EPA findings suggest the company turned to other problematic chemicals instead. Solve has promised to stop using any PFAs this year. Solve has been using re a replacement for PFNA that was supposed to be safer, and it turns out that it's actually more toxic than the original PFNA compound. That is an absolute uh, terrible irony that people who were exposed to the PFNA for decades are now, right now, still being exposed to this replacement compound, and we know very little about it. A series of lawsuits have been filed against Solve for its alleged role in contaminating the water. But the company has argued in court that the source is actually from nearby energy plant Paulsboro Refinery. Still, Solve agreed to pay for bottled water for residents and new filters for the affected water systems and wells, but without admitting liability. In a statement to NJ Spotlight News, a spokesperson for Solve says the company's own investigations have found, quote, other significant sources of PFAs, including PFNA, exist within Gloucester County. This includes users of firefighting foams, which Solve has never manufactured or used at its West Deptford facility. Information concerning other sources of PFAs has been provided to NJDEP as part of Solve's investigation and remediation. The Rutgers team leading the study in Paulsboro wants to recruit 1,000 adults and 300 children for the study. In the meantime, advocates are hoping efforts will continue to make sure the water is safe for everyone. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.